Chief Minister Enbrain Singh has conducted a security review meeting in the wake of the violence in Imphal. Fresh violence was reported in Manipur's Churachandpur area on the 22nd of July. A school has been set on fire in the area where the situation remains dire. That's the big piece of breaking news that's coming in. The situation in Manipur remains tense, ladies and gentlemen, where fresh violence was reported in Churachandpur and Chief Minister N. Biren Singh has conducted a security review. My colleague Kamalika Sengupta is joining me on the broadcast who's been tracking all the developments that have been coming in when it comes to the situation in Manipur, given this tense situation in the state. Kamalika, give us the details. Uh, N. Brain Singh facing the heat from all sides but doing whatever he can to ensure that there is security on the ground. But the situation clearly not stabilizing even after weeks of communal violence. Yeah, absolutely. And he has done a review security meeting today which is like uh, which he, he does generally but situation again after that horrific uh, video came out uh, the situation again is tense and you know in the evening yesterday there was this incident of a school building which was torn but today also while uh, as we are in Manipur uh, in, while we were going to Chula Chanpur there is this area called Thorbang and Kawangkai where we have uh, ourselves we have seen that, that the firing was still on so uh, there are like uh, reports of intermittent firings in this buffer zone, in this zone which is like from valley to the hills. The buffer zone is the middle zone, the border zone. It's quite surprising, but then there is a border inside the state. It's just like you know two separate, um, you know two separate uh, states or two separate rather countries staying, uh, you know, in in one geographical area. So there is this buffer zone today also faced disturbance. There was intermittent firing in, uh, near to Jura Janapur. So he has done the security review meeting uh, where the uh, security advisor could explain was also there. On the other hand, uh, from Mizoram also, some Métis, they have been flown back today in Imphal. That's what we are getting it from the sources because with the rising situation, uh, the Métis feel that they are not safe there. So they, some of them, around 68 of them, has been flown back to Imphal. That's what we are getting it from the sources. Right, so that is also the piece of break news that's coming in, that around 60 Methis have been flown back to Imphal today as the government struggles to normalize the situation in the state. Thank you, Kamalika, for getting us that piece of breaking news. Let's get to more reports coming in from Ground Zero. Two months have passed, but people of Manipur, they are living still in the relief camps. Right now, I am standing in a camp where you see the total number of campers at 720. So, the big question is that after two months, still now there has been no solution for which people who, I mean, whose houses are burned, they have to still live in this refugee camp, in, in this relief camp. You can see that, you know, the, the women, the children, everybody has, has, has somehow adjusted to this situation and they really don't know when they can go back home because to them it's like a warlike situation where everything can happen and they have lost their address permanently. And that's the big question that what is the government doing? Even after two months, you can see people, they are unable to go back to their own home. And for them, this is, has become their permanent residence now. So there lies the big question that what the government is doing. The government is supposed to take them, give them back their own home. Government has declared various packages, but what they are after? Why can't they go back to their own home? That's the big question. Right, and that's all we have to pack it on the show. Thank you for watching. effort to arrest the remaining culprits by conducting raids at several suspected hideouts. The situation in the state continues to remain volatile and uh, fresh reports of firing was reported from Churachandpur district and uh, Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma has uh, taken, on, taken on the Congress and slammed UPA's record in the Manipur state and also blamed the Congress for faulty policies during the formative years of the state. What is happening in Manipur is a human tragedy. 
what is happening is ethnic cleansing is happening there. It is very sad that in the 21st century, in modern India, in a democratic India, in a constitutional democracy like India, there is ethnic cleansing happening. And the central government is simply unable to deal with the situation. It, show, it clearly shows their lack of ability. The state government has completely lost grip of the administration there. They must be dismissed forthwith. And for the central government to say, the Home Minister, the Prime Minister, the Chief Minister to say that they knew about this incident only after the video surfaced is a very poor reflection on their intelligence network. What is their intelligence network doing? What is the IB doing? Are they not reporting? Isn't there the station head of Manipur not reporting to his boss here? Isn't the IB head here reporting to the Home Minister? Whose head is going to roll? There must be accountability. Somebody's head must be chopped for, for doing this kind of for this breakdown. We all know Manipur is a very complex state. Even in the 90s, even in 2000s, even before BJP came to power. That is the state where there was Armed Forces Special Powers Act which was in existence before we came. The video that we all have seen that is dated dating back to May 3 or May 4, that is a very shameful one, no doubt about that. It has got no place in a democratic society and India is a country that is deeply respectful of our mothers and sisters and nobody of us we are going to tolerate. The act that happened on May 3, nobody is different. It has to be condemned in the harshest possible words not only condemnation action in the harshest possible word now when we look at the same instance that happened in west bengal where one of bjp's candidate was stripped and paraded naked a mother why is the other governments not talking about it manipur is a tragedy for all of us har ek shakhs jo hindustani hai uske liye ye qiyamat ka mamla hai ye halat hai एक ही लोग किस तरह ये कर रहे हैं और ये नफरतें कैसे बढ़ाई जा रही हैं कुर्सी के लिए मुझे अफसोस है उस कुर्सी को लानत उम्मीद करेंगे कि हमें मौका देंगे वो पार्लियामेंट में इसमें बात करना हमने किसी की तनकीद नहीं करनी है मगर अपने दिल के हालात उनके सामने पेश करने